Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate in two minutes. You know, here's a standard offer to purchase. And yeah, right near the top is price. But oftentimes there are other factors of major concern. Let's face it, every buyer has a story and every seller has a story. Hitting those hot buttons can help make your offer stand out. Here's 11 factors that can make a difference. Now, this is probably more factors than you wanna hear about, but these are some of the tools of the trade that I can use to help make your deal one way or another. This thing is eight pages long. There's plenty of opportunity beyond that one paragraph to make a deal. So let's talk about those 11 factors. The first one, what's included in terms of property? Are you asking for the pool table that they just don't wanna give up? Two, the earnest money. How much is it and who's gonna hold it and how many days before it's delivered? Sellers wanna see a good amount, one to 2% of the purchase price, and they wanna see it delivered ASAP like the next day. Number three, what type of financing is involved? If it's cash, it's strong. You know, cash is king. Otherwise, others' financing is going to be ranked in order. Try and get the strongest financing package that you can put together if you're a buyer. Number four, the offer needs to be not contingent upon the sale of your current house. That just is really, really tough to do. Number five is the closing date. Sellers usually like quick closes, but what if they have a deal that they can't get into for so many days, or they're building a house? Sometimes the fact that you can give a delayed closing date or delayed possession, which is number six, can help or may make the deal. Heck, that may be all that, all that matters, okay? Number seven is a survey. Um, these are costly and can take eight to 12 weeks. And so if you're buying land, that can be something that the buyer wants, but it may be a stickler for the seller. So think about that. Number eight is inspections. The sooner you can get them done, the better. Um, if you can put a clause, as a buyer, if you can put a clause in there that says we won't ask for any one item under $2,000 and the seller knows you're not going to ask for every light switch that doesn't work to be repaired or whatever. Number nine, warranties. Sometimes they can make a difference uh, if a seller offers a warranty and the buyer's, you know, a little uneasy about the whole inspection process and everything. Number 10, who pays closing costs? Heck, that can be worth $5,000 on an offer. So. Again, consideration. And 11 is the time to respond. Sometimes if you put a really good offer together as a buyer, you don't want to give the seller time to go out and find anybody else, okay? You want to give them three hours. You say, I'll give you X, but I want it signed in the next three hours. I've made many deals like that. It was good for the seller. They got a good price or good terms, and the buyer got the deal. They got the house they wanted. So. Hey, remember the saying, the devil's in the details. These 11 factors will work for you. Give me a call and be sure to hit the subscribe button. Share with your friends and uh, family whenever you're talking real estate because I work harder to make good things happen.